read it is a perverse paradigm that is not about forest protection. It's about forest destruction. And we know you will not be tricked. Estamos seguros que lo que ellos buscan con red es apoderarse de nuestros bosques, de nuestra agua. Cuando al contrario de apoyar, lo que quieren es convertirlos en áreas confinadas para los ricos y sacar a los pobres, a los campesinos, para que ellos no tengan recursos. My name is Tom Goldtooth. I'm the executive director of the Indigenous Environmental Network and we're an international indigenous-based environmental justice and economic justice organization networking with indigenous peoples worldwide. We're based here in the belly of the beast of the United States. We're dealing with uh, an emerging uh, uh, issue here that's really perverse it uh, involves the financial institutions of the world, the oligarchies of the world. It involves multinational corporations. It involves uh, the northern countries and specifically industrialized countries pushing forward to a next level economic globalization that is nothing but privatization of nature. RED, according to the United Nations, stands for reducing emissions uh, from deforestation and forest degradation. But really what RED means is reaping profits from evictions, land grabs, deforestation, and destruction of biodiversity. One of the impacts that brings RED sobre a question of territory is that há mais de 12 years no estado do Acre, as terras indígenas não estão, não está sendo mais demarcada pelo governo. We're dealing with this issue of red, uh, carbon trading, carbon offset, that leaves our companies, these companies that are operating in our backyard, off the hook. Carbon trading is a scheme to privatize the sky and set up a trading mechanism whereby polluters can buy and sell permits to pollute even more. Specifically, RED is an offset mechanism which uses the forests in the Global South as sponges for northern industrialized countries' pollution. So the idea is that if I grab these forests in the Global South as sponges for my pollution, I can keep polluting in, say, California. Red is the pillar of what is being called the green economy, which is nothing more than capitalism of life. We're reading uh, fancy ads that these corporations are, are paying for that make them look green. Uh, greenwashing the pollution uh, around local toxic hot spots such as the tar sands in northern Alberta where the Cree, the Dene and the Métis people are, are, are being killed. The water's contaminated. One of the most uh, carbon intensive uh, developments in the world, destructive tech, ripping out trees, tearing into Mother Earth, contaminating the water. You can even see it from the satellite. Chevron, California's biggest polluter, is doing red in the Atlantic forest of Brazil in conjunction with General Motors and the Nature Conservancy. And this red project uses armed guards, uh, these armed guards called Força Verde, the green force, is shooting at local residents and jailing people. Uh, Antonio Alves, a local resident, was jailed for 11 days for cutting down a tree to fix his mother-in-law's leaky roof. So this is indicative of what red in uh, AB 32, California's climate law, could be and obviously it is just a scam for the biggest polluters of california to get out of reducing their emissions at source before you can trade anything uh, and treat anything as a commodity you have to determine who owns that 
So who owns the carbon, the air, whether it's in the, in the trees, in the soil, in the plants, um, in the air? Um, whose property right is that? As indigenous peoples, you know, we, many of us embrace the cosmic vision, the spirituality, the sacred relationship that we hold dear to who we are, especially our relationship to the sacredness of Mother Earth. These are values and ethics that guide us, but unfortunately, uh, humanity doesn't quite recognize those values, so that's why part of our campaign is also to wake up the world about who you are and your relationship with Mother Earth, because what's happening here is that uh, uh, the air is being traded off. It's becoming a private property of the industry. Red is a plan to steal your future. It increases climate change. It makes global warming worse. It sends us over the cliff. And in consultation with the, our medicine people, uh, there was a consistency in their response that red is a manipulation of the sacred, that is evil. It'll be absolutely fundamental that youth educate themselves about the red menace and uh, stand up and fight back uh, in alliance with indigenous peoples and local communities and Californian voters and civil societies to stop red and protect Mother Earth.